Uh, Frankie Dottori, how are you? Morning, everyone. <laughs> I'm great. <laughs> you, you left Ascot last night. I, it was a wonderful image of you striding across the parade ring to hopefully go and celebrate a little bit. You're walking on, walking on air, and it was as though there was a full crowd there. I, you more than, more than made up for it, really. It was great to watch. Uh, it was uh, quite difficult to get used to it the first couple of days. But once we were up and running, it was business as usual. Obviously, you know, you can't... You can't uh, stress enough how much we missed the crowd but the races was amazing and uh, it all went well and all the people that watched it uh, really enjoyed it because you know as a professional we did everything uh, to the letter and it was uh, it was uh, very exciting and uh, i hope that came across to the public so the the home. celebrations the 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 flying dismounts the whooping the hollering and you got louder and louder yesterday did you feel a bit of a responsibility to entertain, or were you trying to get yourself up as much as anything else? Well, you know what, I was trying to uh, relieve the joys of Asuka, you know. Okay, people's not there, but it still means a lot. It's a very important races, and, and why not? You know, why, why should I uh, contain myself and be reserved? Enjoy it. You know, that's, uh, that's what we do it for. It is a wonderful sport, and I was thrilled. And uh, and I was I was jumping off the horse t into a empty grandstand. <laughs> that was a bit <laughs> weird, but <laughs> but nevertheless, <laughs> this is what Alaska. It what I mean. I watched the first three days on, on TV and then going Friday and Saturday, I, I, even having watched it on television, I couldn't quite get over how bizarre and eerie it really was. Yeah, I mean, you know what? Once those stores open. To me, as a rider, and I guess my colleagues, it was business as usual. Um, I think it's bred within us the the will to win that we all try. And uh, and what added to a little bit is we, we, we the, the the commentator was still in at uh, at full volume, so that added up to the atmosphere a little bit. Obviously, we didn't have the big reception afterwards, but. As far, as far as the riding was concerned, was uh, was the same, you know, it was, it was still where I got. Did you go into yesterday thinking you had any shot of of getting the, the champion jockey's crown again? Well, I thought I had some good chances, but one, 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 once, once uh, Caparelle won, I thought it is possible. Because yeah. Alp, um, Alpine Star, uh, if you look at her form, she she has raced with love, and Santiago of form was red hot, and Jessica's horses in Ireland this year, uh, she's been winning everything. So I was, you know, there was a lot of talk about some of the others, but quietly I was quite confident she'd be in the shakeup. Uh, the one that I wasn't sure that made all the difference, obviously, was Palace Pia, yeah. and then obviously I, I had a favourite chance in the. Golden Jubilee that perhaps I probably kicked a bit too soon, and so I had lively chances. But is you know you 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 can go into Asco with lively chances, come out with nothing. And as far as yesterday was concerned, uh, I won three out of those four that I mentioned. So, and uh, I, I must say, if the crowd was there yesterday, uh, I, I think. Uh, hmm. They, could, they would have, been, have to rebuild another grandstand, probably, because the grandstand would have come down. <laughs> um, I want to talk to you about the St James's Palace and, and your horse, Palace Pier. It, it, it was a race that got a lot of discussion afterwards about how slowly it was run, some of the tactics that were used in the race. How, how aware were you of where Pinatubo was and, and how you were going to make your challenge as you, as you sort of turned up the side of the track? Well, I had a chat with John yesterday. I said, listen, uh, it's going to be messy. It's going to be uh, tactical and messy, basically. So, uh, listen, I'm drawing a bit wide. I'm going to stay out of the way. Let everybody get in a scrap. And, and that's what actually happened, really. They all tried to knock each other over. And uh, and I sat quiet out of the back. And I, I came in a nice sweeping run. I knew my horse would uh, see the mile really well. And uh, I, I made uh, Pinatubo uh, show his cards first. You know, I made him 
commit and uh, you know and I, I knew perhaps most was better stay out on the day and that's and that's what actually happened and uh, so for, for once we got it right well you got it right several times this week the other horse that I was really struck by this week was um, we'll talk about Stradivarius in a minute but was was Fanny Logan because she she won really quite impressively in the end and and looks like she's really going places yeah I mean I'll be honest with you I, I couldn't see her winning that race, but John said I uh, was very confident, and it, it, t it told me to be patient. I had other ideas. I wanted to be forward, but it told me to be patient, and that's uh, that's why me and John get on so well because sometimes he gets it right, sometimes I do. So I, we we are a nice team together, and yeah, I mean, uh, mile and a half a bit of cutting the ground, she she proved uh, she proved the uh, revelation in that race. I mean, do you think she could run in, in, in races like the King George and hold her own? Uh, well, she's got to take, over, take on the, the big girl, so maybe she might find that uh, a bridge too, too far. But, you know, perhaps uh, a British Cup, Phillies and Mares uh, uh, could be in the agenda. Or there's some nice races in France, Group 1s for Phillies. I think... I think uh, uh, yeah, she's, she's got some good targets coming up. Oh, the problem is that there's a lot of horses in your own yard that would be queuing up to take on the big girl because there the, are the obvious races for them. And John said he, he'd, he'd entered Stradivarius for the, for the arc this week. But let's just, let's just enjoy what he did the other day in the, in the Gold Cup. I mean, did, did, did all the rain falling affect your confidence in any way? A little bit. A little bit because uh, he's better on fast ground. But, uh, I mean, he's got some lungs, that was, was unbelievable. I mean, the, the further I was going, the better he was going, basically. From the four to the winning post, I mean, he was dragging me off the saddle. Amazing. I mean, look how small it is, but he's got some lungs. And uh, he's a wonderful horse. And, uh, you know, what he did on Thursday, I don't think we'll see a performance like that. I know the soft ground... Uh, makes things a bit different, but wow, my God, I never seen a horse do that in a, in, a, in a race like the Gold Cup. And it's not as though you don't know him. It's not as though you haven't ridden him to a ton of Group One victories before. But you actually feel that he felt different for you when you when you went for him. He, did he feel different to how he normally does? I think he was more confident. Uh, as he went through the field, he got more and more confident, and you know he, he's a clever boy. Usually, he, he passes it, and then he thinks he's done enough. But he, did, he didn't do that on Thursday. He just kept going and going and going. He could have gone round again. It's amazing. Well, it, it was it was wonderful to watch. I, I'm hoping today, given that it's Father's Day, you're going to be pampered by all your children, and they're all waiting on you hand and foot. Am I am well, I close? I, no, you're not close. And the one, <laughs> at the moment, it's no one to be seen. <laughs> and um, I asked my wife if she could uh, get me the newspapers, and uh, she just stormed out of the house and got to look after the horses in, uh, in the stable. So that's a no. So uh, I think Father's Day is uh, a bit of a disaster at the moment. <laughs> Well, I'm hoping you can, you'll get a chance to relax at least and maybe just keep, keep watching back the videos from this week. Thanks, Nick.